Hello, my name is Tracy Lahr, and this is my wife, Phyllis. Together, we're honored to be able to serve the church in Champaign, Illinois. We hope that uh, in the next few minutes, mm -hmm. we'll be able to introduce to you a very special congregation, the church that meets in Odessa, Ukraine. Tracy and I had the privilege of three years ago visiting uh, Odessa for three weeks, and we built some very great friendships during that time. And then recently in February, we were able to go back to Odessa and spend a week there um, renewing friendships, but also just meeting with different people throughout the church. So Odessa is, uh, is a great city on the southern coast of the Ukraine, right on the Black Sea. It's a city of about a million people, depending mm -hmm. upon how far out you want to take the metropolitan area. It's, uh, it's one of the major ports uh, to, to bring shipping and, and goods into the Ukraine. Well, let me tell you a little bit about the church in Odessa. They have approximately 290 members. They have 240 members in the city of Odessa. And then they have approximately 50 people in house churches that are in the sub surrounding suburbs of Odessa and a little bit further out into the country. Um, they also have a hundred children under the age of 18 in their congregation. Right, a lot of kids. A lot of kids. And Sasha and Maya Tenletnikov lead the church in Odessa. And they also, this summer, will hopefully, prayerfully have a new young married couple that um, will be leading the campus. And they will be coming from the uh, School of Missions in Kiev. So that's going to be really great to have them there leading the campus. Last month, which actually from the shooting of this video, that would mean February, yes. there was a couple baptized, uh, Jacob and Anna. Now, Jacob grew up uh, in the home. Uh, his father was uh, the minister in a denominational church. So when he got old enough to leave home, he also left the church. He left God. He left everything and just began to sow his wild mm -hmm. oats. He, he met Anna. They fell in love. They got married. And then uh, eventually they, they had a child. And when his son was born, he, he decided, you know what? I got to get my life right with God. I, I got to get Amen. back to what I know is important. So he had gone to a dentist appointment. And, and as it would be, uh, his dentist is a brother named Sergey. Sergey the dentist. Sergey the dentist, which we'll talk about again in a moment. But he reached out to Jacob, invited him to church. He came to church, loved it, loved the, the service, loved the worship, and however... See if you heard this one before. When they saw everybody hugging and loving each other and everything, he and Anna both said, this, is, this has got to be fake. These, this is a hypocrite. Nobody acts like that. Nobody, Nobody. does that. Uh, but as they kept coming back and they got deeper and deeper and, and knowing people, they realized that they weren't hypocrites, that it was genuine, that the relationships were real. And uh, they wanted to be a part of that. And after studying the Bible this past February, they were baptized into Christ. Amen. That's awesome. And, you know, Sasha and Maya have great hearts to turn a tragedy into being able to give back. And they have a plan to be self-supporting in five years. That is their goal. But the reason they want to do that is because they look around in, in Ukraine and they see that there are other small churches around Ukraine that need help, that need support. So Odessa wants to become self-supporting so that then the, instead of being given to them, that money can be given to these smaller churches mm -hmm. and help them to grow and they can uh, become self-supporting as well. As you can tell, we love the church in Odessa and we love the people mm -hmm. of the Ukraine. Yeah. And uh, on behalf of the church in Odessa, and also as a member of the, the board of directors for the European Mission uh, Society, I want to personally say thank you for your sacrifice mm -hmm. and uh, your, your giving in the special contributions. Your money, your sacrifice is changing lives. Your sacrifice yeah. is changing marriages and families. It yeah. is changing and saving souls mm -hmm. for all eternity. So, so thank you so much for everything you do for all of the European mission fields, but especially for Odessa. Yes, yes. Thank you for your hearts. Thank you for your love. And thank you for your sacrifice. Without you and your gift and your sacrifice of special missions, none of this would be possible. Mm. Ah, thank, thank you. you.